So you guys read the title, Is the American Dream Dead? Quote unquote, is the American Dream Dead? You clicked on this for two different reasons. Either one, you support that narrative, you support the concept that the American Dream is dead, or two, you are adamantly against it. You stand on the other side and you support America. Either way, doesn't matter to me, you can have your perspective. But what you won't do is you won't come up to me while I'm wearing a headband that represents something that I'm super proud of and tell me that I should not be supporting the flag or I should not be supporting this country. To me, the American dream isn't dead. The American dream has always been the people, what the people will do, how the people represent themselves, how the people go out and look look after each other, how the people care for each other. Somewhere we lost that fact. Somewhere we sat back and we said, just because the politicians that are in office are screwing this country or just because the politicians don't believe in my narrative, somehow the American American dream is dead. People are protesting every day. People are rioting every day. You have that right as an American. Other countries do not. People are getting aid every day. People are on food stamps, government assistance every single day. You have that right because you're American. You know, I serve this country and I absolutely believe in the concepts and the principles that this country is about. You can come here with nothing. I have clients that have come here with nothing to build something in this so-called American dream. So while you tell me that blacks are getting killed in the streets, I understand. I sympathize with that. I rock with the movement that says there are bad people people. There are bad cops out here that are killing our brothers and sisters in the streets. But there's a lot of bad African Americans who are doing things that are antagonizing the cops. Just the other day I watched a video of a guy with a gun in his lap saying, oh we're gonna shoot these pigs, we're gonna shoot these pigs. That's not the American dream. There are people that are losing their lives daily to support and defend this constitution, to support and defend us. If I got in trouble right now, guess who I'm gonna call? I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call the police. Simple as that. I'm going to call 911. Somebody's going to come out here and help me. If I fell on hard times now, guess what? I have government assistance I can go get. There are tons of you that are on government assistance. This is a program that you are getting that a lot of countries are not getting. A lot of countries are just poor. You're poor. So what? So what? You're poor. So what? You're struggling. You don't get that help. So while you sit here and you say everything about America is wrong, I can show you that there's people every day surviving, every day helping each other. It has always been built on what the people do for each other, not what the government does for the people. Simple as that. So if you sit here and say Trump is bad, I get it. You don't rock with politics. You don't rock with what he's doing right now. But what can you go out and do and create for other people? If you're in a, a situation where you can go out and help people, go do it. I did a clothing drive for people that needed coats. I'm out here in these schools trying to teach our youth that there's more to the life than rapping, playing ball, or trapping. That is something that you can contribute as the American dream. So I understand your narrative. I understand what you're saying, that this country is so part of falling apart. This liberal or this conservative approach to this America that you call it is falling apart. But look at it a different way. Have a different perspective. This country is built on you and what you do and what you do with your job and what you do to be successful and what you do with this family and what you contribute. It's not about what this country can do for you. It's what you can do for this country. Simple as that. And again, I have clients that have come here with absolutely nothing and built businesses that are successful. Thousand dollar businesses that are successful. You see... We had slaves that fought for the right for you to get an education. Are you doing that? Are you going to get a free education right now? You can. You have that ability. Are you taking your part in the American dream? Are you contributing? No. You're just sitting back and you're criticizing somebody for wearing a headband, something that I do on occasion. But this headband right here, as I stated to this young gentleman, like, I'm about that life. Like, I served seven years in the military, two deployments. I understand what it's like to lose friends. I have friends now that are lo losing limbs. I have friends now that are losing their lives. I have friends that are not going back, that are on the police force, that are going into the hoods and going into situations where they might not come home. I support them 100%. So while you tell me that everything about America is bad, I'm going to tell you that it's not. Maybe you need to change your perspective. Maybe you need to turn off the news and see what actual people are doing for actual people. Because there's so many brilliant stories. There's so many amazing people out here doing amazing things for amazing people. Remember that. I'll continue to wear my headband. I'll continue to stand for the flag. I'll continue to support this country. I'll continue to support our military and our police officers. And you will never one time hear me criticize anything about what the police officers or the military is doing. Yeah, the bad apples, but the majority of our police officers, my friends, the people that put their lives on the line every single day, they're doing what they're supposed to be doing so I love each and every one of you remember don't criticize something that you're not contributing to help as a problem or you're not creating solutions for the problem become a solution if you feel this country is bad do something about it do something about it help create legislation get an education start clothing drives contribute to the con whatever it is I understand where we could be t potentially facing a, a recession but do your part. I promise you God's going to see us out and this country will continue to remain and with or without you. So remember that.